The SoftStep Keyworks application takes control data from the SoftStep foot controller and uses it to control your computer in many possible ways. With Keyworks, you can send keystrokes and combinations, open files and applications, scroll through windows and applications, and even control the mouse cursor, all from the SoftStep foot controller. In this tutorial, we'll take a step-by-step -step look at how to set up the Keyworks application for all of these control situations. Here is what the Windows Keyworks application looks like. The main Keyworks interface is identical. What's different is inside the function menu, where we see Focus as the last selection. This was previously open in Focus in the Mac version. Once we select Focus, a small window appears with a number box titled Select Time. The Focus action on Windows is automatically programmed to perform the Alt-Tab shortcut, which enables you to switch between currently open applications in Windows. This millisecond time we see represents the delay from when you make your selection until the action completes and closes the selection window. The default value for this is one second, or a thousand milliseconds. If you want a faster transition time, lower the value to whatever time best suits your needs. To open applications in the Windows version of Keyworks, you must create a keystroke shortcut for that application within Windows. You can do this by right-clicking on the application, selecting Properties, and choosing a key combination that you would like to open. So, for this example, if we want to open the Paint application, we must locate Paint, right-click and select Properties, then under the Key command section, choose a suitable key combination. Let's use Ctrl-Alt-P as our combination shortcut. Then we must add this key combination into Keyworks. Let's use key 4, select keystroke, select the control and alt modifiers, and then enter the P key. Now we can launch Microsoft Paint with a single touch of our foot. Next we'll look at the Keyworks mouse function. The mouse function in Keyworks simply emulates a mouse click. There are many different click types available, right click, left click, and double clicks of each. The mouse function is fairly straightforward. The last part of Keyworks we will cover is the navigation pad. The navigation pad is used in one of two ways. By selecting the middle arrow symbol, the navigation pad can be used as up, down, left, and right arrow keys, just as on your keyboard. Once the arrow selection is made, a setting window appears with options identical to our keystroke repeat settings we looked at earlier. The delay number controls how long you must hold the key down to output repeat actions speed controls, and the repetition intervals for those repeat actions, and accelerator can dynamically speed up or slow down the repetition based on pressure input to the keypad. The second function of the navigation pad enables you to control your mouse cursor by selecting cursor in the navigation pad diamond. When this is selected, a cursor settings window appears allowing you to adjust speed, delay, nudge size, and acceleration. Once selected, you can instantly use the navigation keypad to move your mouse cursor in all four directions. Now we will definitely want to save our new keywork scene, so let's press the Save button at the top of the window, and a Save Scene dialog box will appear. You can type the name of your new scene, select which slot number you want to save this new scene on, and make sure you are not saving over an important scene already on that slot number. That's everything there is to know about getting up and running with SoftStep Keyworks software. Consult the reference manual for more detailed explanations of all topics we have covered in this video.